Hey Sutton Tools, because you guys can't be at the track, we're gonna do a bit of a walk around the car here. So obviously this car is fairly new, um, only one meeting old, so um, it's pretty cool for me to have a new car. And we'll just show you a bit of the inside. One of the cool things about these cars are how light the doors are. They're actually made out of carbon fiber. So um, yeah, a lot different to a road car, no um, lock mechanisms inside, no window switches like that. So if you get hot, can't put the window down. Um, if you look in the car here, it's fairly bare bones. Obviously there's no comfort, there's no insulation, no heaters, no um, stereo or anything like that. We've got um, a steering wheel here and an array of lights as well. So they do um, a lot of different things. So we have one set of light that's on the dash for the warning system. So if we're going across the top of Mount Panorama and someone's crossed across the track, um, they'll actually come up and show us a yellow flag or a red flag so we don't go fly into the area and cause another accident. We also have um, a lights here, which are for our lock lights. So when we're driving around a track, because we can't see our front wheels, we don't know when they're locked. So um, that just flashes up little lights on either side, indicating what we've locked up. Um, and that's a really useful tool. Without them, we're about half a second to a second slower. So very important. Then obviously our normal shift lights and our dash that has everything there. This is all customized to sort of what we need. So um, everything that we generally need when we're racing is on the wheel, which is very handy. So behind the wheel here, we have the brake bias. So it's one um, is forward and one is rear. Sometimes we change it for different tracks. Um, sometimes we leave it. Um, but if there's a lot of high speed corners then some low speed, we'll normally change that to the front or rear, depending on what we need. We also have the adjustability of the front and rear roll bar, which is next to the gear stick over there, which we can tune the car up as we go. And as a tire degradation happens, obviously there's a big heavy cars and they're quite under tired um, for the the type of grip and how much horsepower you got so yeah lots of stuff there we've also got the six point harness here which keeps us nice and snug and a, a custom made seat so we actually um, it's quite agricultural I guess we sit in a on top of a plastic bag and it heats up and goes all the way around you and shapes um, to your body which is pretty cool and it makes it makes it comfy you almost fall asleep sometimes when you're in the pits um, we have an air that goes into our helmet, just a tube up the top, and we have our drink and radio. So a few different sort of things there, which uh, make it pretty cool. And a new sort of thing, we used to have the tr traditional net, um, where now it seems to be the cool thing that everyone's doing, and it's a lot easier just to have this one single one that goes across there. Um, so yeah, different things are evolving over time. If we come out the back, we can see some sort of different aspects here as well. We um, have some new regulations for the next round. Obviously there's no sensors in the dampers now, which um, we used to use a lot for data analysis and all that sort of stuff. And coming um, to Sydney, it's a very high speed track. So we're gonna be playing with the aero a lot and we're very new to this car. So for us, understanding what this massive wing does, it's a lot bigger than we've had before and a lot more powerful. So we'll be flattening that off, bringing it up, seeing how, what it does. Um, and yeah, overall, it's pretty exciting and um, I hope I gave you a bit of insight into the car.